G'day everybody, my name is Lowell and welcome to the channel. We're jumping back into Brooklyn Nine-Nine here on Patreon. Uh, let's do episode three. This is called The Slump. Let's jump in and let's see what this one is all about. So, so gather around for the greatest cop film of all time. Please refrain from texting during our presentation. All right, so there's Hitchcock and there's an old hooker. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, guys, that was four years ago. Shh, that's the best part. She comes back, takes the wallet. And here she goes! Oh! Are you slaying a night, lady killer? Well, we shall see what we shall see. No, you're dressed exactly like the lady killer. Damn it! <laughs> this is Jeffrey Dahmer's quarter is all over again. Where are we on the Adam Street burglary? We are very close, Captain, aside from a complete absence of evidence, suspects, or leads. So in conclusion, not at all close. And the Vicker Street aggravated assault? Stalled out, and the Callaway robbery also remains unsolved <laughs> due to a lack of solving it by me. Sounds like someone's in a little bit of a slump. I'm not Ooh. in a slump. You're not? Scoreboard. I don't slump, people. I opposite slump. I pee moles. That slump backwards, and it's what I do. I pee moles all over this bitch. I'm concerned that the open cases mound of garbage on your desk has become so much higher than the closed cases mound of garbage. I'm about to close a case. Missing grandma Helen Storino. This morning, we picked up an old lady matching her description exactly. I showed her pictures of Judd, and she said, and I quote, That's my grandson. What did I say about doing voices? I'm a storyteller, sir. That's my craft. For praise? Uh... There's a community outreach program that's very important to me. I was wondering if you'd like to head it up. Absolutely, sir. I won't just head it up. I will head and shoulders it up. I will dive in, swim around it, and just be all together g good with it. Be more articulate when you speak to the children. Yes, sir. I will make better mouth. <laughs> Hi, Rosa. Oh, I like your shoes. They're really pretty. What do you need? Color. OK. You know how every year the precinct does that junior police program seminar? That thing where we try to get a bunch of loser kids to become student snitches? Mm, no, the thing where we try to get at-risk kids... Losers. ...to sign up to become junior police officers. Snitches, what about it? Captain specifically asked me to run it this year. And I signed you up to do it with me. Here's the info. Now I gotta read something? Greetings. Fine. I guess I can help you with those at-risk kids. <laughs> I don't need your help. It's nothing personal. It's just you're not a cop, so I'm not really sure you could help. Okay, no hard feelings, but I hate you. Not joking. Bye. <laughs> oh, my darlings, thank God I found you. Oh, look at That's those not beautiful her, cheeks. I have no idea who this lady is. I've nope. never seen her before in my life. Okay, this is Ethel Musterberg from the Prospect Heights Senior Center. There was an ID card in her back pocket. It looks like this case remains unsolved, Peralta. Oh, my God. I'm in a slump. Here's a hypothetical question. Let's say I knew someone that for the first time in their career was experiencing like a minor slump. Oh, I haven't really been in a slump since my divorce. So I'd tell this person, maybe get divorced. Fly to Montreal, hit a classy hotel bar, bone a stranger, slump over. Wow. 10,000 sit-ups. OK. What's going on in here? <laughs> We're hoping Jake's friend get out of a slump. Or try working the case until it's solved, Peralta. I always find that closing cases is the best way to end a slump. Okay, this is the junior police program. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get your life back on track. <coughs> Narc! I know you think getting in trouble is cool, but let me show you what can happen if you continue down this path. Hey, yo, I'm an at-risk kid, and I think it's cool to sell drugs. Hold up. Why does the kid selling drugs sound like he's black? He's not. Well, why not? Are you saying that black people can't sell drugs? Black people can sell drugs. 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 I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. Don't make me hit you again. Um, I'm building this dollhouse for my girls. It's their birthday tomorrow. I told my wife I'd get it done. I had the same exact one when I was a kid. You want some help, big man? No. I could do this. It's just driving me a little crazy. Where do I fix the prince's tower, Boyle? Where do I fix it? On the side of the church. Now, now, Boyle. Let a brother breathe. Oh, where are you going, Peralta? I am on my way to ending the slump. 
I got a dunker, Captain. Nothing but net. Oh, you haven't solved any of your old cases, and yet you've taken on a new one. I mean, shouldn't you at least solve this Helen Storino missing grandmother case first? Or I could solve this super easy one, get my mojo back, and move on to catching the Zodiac Killer. Am I getting ahead of myself? No, you are not, Jake Rabbit. Oh, I like Jake Hammer better. Let's go. All right, listen up. I know you think you're badasses, but deep down you're scared. How do I know? Because I've been that same scared kid. And if you don't get your crap together, I'm going to end up busting you and throwing you in jail. Got it? Throwing you in jail. What's happening? I think they're laughing at you. It's never happened before. I don't like it. Free! My PD hands where I can see them. Don't shoot! I was just practicing my minuets, but I'll hold it down. All right, flute man. Who else is in this apartment? Where's the dealer? I live here alone with my birds. What, you don't think I know this M.O.? These are mules. They're drug mules. They're bird mule drugs. Oh. Drug bird mules. Oh, the bird pooped on your shoulder. No, wait. Pooped on your head, then dripped onto your shoulder. No, no it apparently. isn't, okay? That's just something people say when a bird poops on you to make you feel better because it's terrible. Four, coming in! Oh, come on! I was in the crime scene. This guy comes up out of nowhere, confesses. Well, he says he's got to make things right, so he helps me track down his accomplices. That is so Oh, great, my man. God. Hey, Jake. You busy? Yes, I very clearly am busy. The medical examiner's office just called. They mishandled some evidence, so the DA is going to have to dismiss your last two busts. Uh, right. And the slump gets worse. You are straight up cursed. Good to know. <laughs> Can you hand me a paper towel, please, Gina? <laughs> oh, no. There's no more left. Yeah, that sounds right. Look, sir, I don't know what's going on, but I think I'm cursed. Cursed, huh? The freakiest things have been happening to me. I mean, I can't solve a case to save my life. Birds are unloading on me left and right, and two seconds ago... Hey, Sarge, do we have any old t-shirts in here? I... Oh, no! Cursed. Yeah, I've seen this kind of thing before. I don't want you out in the field again, Peralta. I'm pulling you from casework. You can digitize old files with Scully. You're benching me? Hey, Gina, that's a super cute, what do you want? Sweater, okay. Rosa and I think it would be great if you talked to the kids. Mm, I thought only cops could help. In this case, not being a cop might actually be better. Mm. Uh, you okay? The fairy princess castle has defeated me. Look, this screw has three pointy sides. And nowhere to screw it in! And there's wheels. What kind of castle has wheels? What's going on? Well, I'm not allowed to leave my desk, so we have to meet in here. So what you're saying is that this is kind of a... No, for the last time, Charles, we don't need a clubhouse. I need you to make these calls for me. Don't let Holt see you. But if my hunch is right, the slump is over. Your problem is not that you're troubled or at risk or bad dressers. Is that a trucker hat? Still? Come on. Your problem is that you don't have passion for anything. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. Words can bring you down. No, no. You are beautiful in every single way. <sighs> what are we thinking? Yes, in the denim. I think I speak for everyone when I say you're weird dancing was just weird. Fine. Cops make $52,000 a year. You never have to stop at a red light. And you get to carry a gun. Who wants in? Boom, 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 boom. Yes. Fantastic. Too dramatic? No. Oh. Hi. Why are we in the bathroom? <laughs> I thought you might ask that, and I will answer in due time. But first, I know what happened to your grandma. Nothing. What are you talking about? The reason I couldn't find her is because she never existed. Five missing persons reports in five different states. Recognize this? What are you accusing us of? Oh. Probably insurance fraud. Definitely filing a false report and obstruction of justice. Now you were wondering why we did this in the bathroom. It's because you're full of crap. Blammo! Oh. Jake Hammer strikes again. Jake Hammer strikes again. Detectives, I see we got eight recruits for the junior police program. Outstanding. Thank you, sir. But as important as your praise is to me, it should actually go to Gina. She's the one that got through to the kids. So, the rabbit's foot worked, huh? Ah, uh, maybe. All I know is my mind was so numb from doing all that boring data entry that my brain kind of rebooted and I had an inspiration about one of my old cases. All talented detectives have their ups and downs, Peralta. 
So you think I'm talented? Okay. But, sir, I don't get it. If that was your plan, why bother with Smitty and the rabbit's foot? Well, there's a very good reason for that. I was, uh, I believe the term is, uh, messing with you. Hey, Sarge, I assembled the castle for you. Here it is. <laughs> what, what happened to all the princess flourishes? Well, they were destroyed, so I turned it into a princess police station. You know, some jobs take brains, some jobs take muscles, some jobs take dainty little fingers. Did I ever tell you I had to wear a woman's wedding ring? Thank you, Boyle. I appreciate it. You're a good dad. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Oh, check this out. Working siren. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll fix that. From your love. That is so loud. Not a doctor. Shh. All right. That is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one. That was episode three. We got episode four coming very soon let me know you can always leave a comment over here on patreon as well so very fun i'm liking this tv show i'm liking it. the characters seem fun um it seems like there's going to be a lot of development as well in the characters so, so guys if you enjoyed that let me know you can leave a message for me here in the meantime make sure you stay safe wherever you are and i'll definitely see you in the next reaction video did you enjoy that video why not watch another one